Today we are going to be studying estimating and adding whole numbers. In order to do this, we need to know our vocabulary. We need to know what estimate ne means. An estimate is a number close to an exact amount. So as you can see down here below, we have a problem and it says estimate the su estimate the sum of the following equation. So we have 134,000 567 plus 53,610,000. Five, now because we are estimating, we're not just going to add these straight across right now and figure out what the total is because we want an estimate. We want a number that is about what the answer is going to be. So for that, I am going to round. I'm going to use rounding. Because this has a 10,000, our second number here only has a 10,000th place, I, I kind of want to round them to the, same, to the same place value. So I'm going to take 134,567, and I'm going to round it to the nearest 10,000, and then I'm going to take 53,610 and round it to the nearest 10,000. And that will give me my answer, so, or a reasonable estimate. So here I'm going to go to the 10,000s, like I said. And I'm going to underline my ten digit in the 10,000s place. Now, using our poem that we've learned in the past with rounding, we look at the digit, we look right next door. If it's four or less, we ignore as we can see we have a four so we are going to ignore so we're going to continue with that three and so right over here off to the side over here I'm going to say that this number is about using an about sign is about one hundred and as I said we're going to just remain with the three thirty that uh, didn't work very well. Yeah, let's try that one more time. One hundred and thirty thousand. Now I have the I got the thirty thousand because everything left we bring down our three as I did here. Anything to the right of the three then turns into zeros, and anything to the left of the three we just bring straight over. So we brought our 1 straight over from there, we brought over our 3, and then everything else turned to zeros. So now we're going to look at our 53 here, 53,000 and 53,000. Uh, uh, we're going to put our about sign in here. It's not a very good sign there, but it works. 53,610 is going to be about... Once again, we're looking at our 10 thousandths place, so we're going to put in underline there. And we're going to look right next door. If it's 4 or less, we ignore. 3 is less than 4, so we're going to ignore. And that is going to become a 50,000. So we're going to bring over our 5 over here. Our 50 and then everything to the right of the 5 turns to 0 so it gives us 50,000 and then we're going to add these two together and when we add these two together we're going to get our sum our estimate so 0 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 and 5 plus 3 is 8 and then we bring down our 1 plus 0 is 1 for a estimate of 180,000 that's just stating that 134,567 plus 53,610 is going to be about 180,000 If we actually were to solve this, which I'm going to do now, we could also see what we have. So we have was 7 plus 0 is 7. 
6 plus 1 is 7. 5 and 6, well, 5 and 5 is 10, plus the 1 for the 6 would give us 11. And we carry. We always got to remember that we're carrying right up here. We carry up here. Uh, and so then we have to add. So we go 3 plus 4 plus 1 is going to be 8. So we have our 8. And then our 5 plus 3 is 8. And then our 1 plus 0 is 1. So we ended up with one or 188,177. 180,000 was somewhat close to 188,177. So this it would be considered a reasonable estimate. On our next one here, we're going to estimate and then or estimate and then solve. And so we're going to come up with our estimate once again. I'm going to just draw my little cool little sign here. That's an about sign. Okay, so we have 63,824 plus 29,452. And so we're going to round this. And you can pretty much round almost to any digit. But once again, because they're both in the 10,000 range, I'm going to go ahead and round it to the 10 thousandths. So I'm going to underline my 10,000 digit, digit in the 10,000s place. And I'm going to go ahead and round this. Now sometimes it doesn't matter. You can either round up or down on an estimate uh, because you're going to be somewhere close. You're, gonna, you're just trying to get a number that's close to it. But we're going to look here, and we have a 6, and we're going to look to the right. And we have a 3. A 3 is less than 4 because it's less than 4. It's 4 or less. We're going to ignore. So we're just going to take our 6 and turn everything else to 0. So we're going to have 60,000. That gives us 60,000. And then we're going to look over here at our next one here. We have 29,452. And once again, I'm going to underline the 10,000s. And I have 29,000, and I'm going to look right next door. I have a 9, so uh, we just follow our poem once again. Uh, uh, we look right next door. If it's 4 or less, we ignore. If it's 5 or more, we add one more. Because 9 is more than 5, we're going to add 1 to our 2 there, and that is going to give us a 3 or 30 thousand because everything to the right then turns into zeros so that gives us it's an about thirty thousand there now we're going to add that up and we have our zero 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 six seven eight nine that's going to give us a nine there gives us ninety thousand so our estimate then is going to be yeah that was horrible let's try that one more time our estimate is then going to be 90,000. So then we're going to come over here and we're going to add these together right here to come up with our answer to our equation here because we're supposed to estimate and then solve. So now we're going to solve. So we're going to go 4 plus 2, starting here in our 1's column, 4 plus 2, and 4 plus 2 is 6, so we're going to put down our 6. Then we have a 5 plus 2 in our tens column. 5 plus 2 is 7. We have 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. So we're going to put down our 2, and we're going to carry over our 1 above the 3. And then we're going to go 9 plus 3. Well, 9 plus 3 is 12. But we still have this other 1 up here that we need to add. So 12, 13. So that's going to give us 13. And then we have 6 plus 2 is 8. And once again, we have our 1 up here, which gives us 9. 
So we're going to put our 9 here. And our answer here is 93,276. As you can see, 93,276 is close to 90,000, and therefore our estimate was reasonable. On our next, next example here, we have 14,659 uh, add plus 11,584. So we're once again going to figure out an estimate. So once again, I'm going to round our number here. Uh, and I can pick to round it to anything. We've done 10,000s the last two times, so let's go ahead and do thousands. So we're going to look at our 4 here, because it's in the thousands place. And we're going to look right next door. If it's 4 or less, we ignore if it's five or more, we add one more. As we can see, it's six, so we're going to add one to our four. Four plus one is uh, four plus one is five, and then we're gonna just bring over our one and turn the rest of what's to the right to zeros. So that's gonna give us three zeros for a fifteen thousand. And then we're going to look down below here at our second number. We have 11,584. In this case, I'm going to stick to the thousands still. And I'm going to underline my one there because it's in the thousands place. And I'm going to look right next door. If it's four or less, we ignore. If it's five or more, we add one more. As we can tell, it's five. So we're going to add one to our one that's here. So 1 plus 1 is 2, so we're going to write our 2 over here in the thousands place. And then I'm going to see my 1 here, I'm going to bring over my 1. And then everything to the right turns in zeros, so that will give us 3 zeros. And then we're going to add that up. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 1 plus 1 is 2, for a total of 27,000 as our estimate. So I'm going to write that up here, 27,000 as our estimate. Now I'm going to solve our problem, because that's the second part of of this problem is that we need to solve it. So we're going to come over and we're going to look in our ones place. Right here we have our 9 and our 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. And we have 5 or 8 plus 5 is 13 plus 1 is 14. And then we have a 6 plus a 1 plus a 5. Now, if we add the 1 to the 5 first, then we get a 6 plus 6. And I know that 6 plus 6 is 12. So that's going to give us 12. And then we have a 4 plus 1, which is 5, plus a second 1, which is 6. And then we have a... 1 plus 1 is 2 for a total of 26,243. And since 26,243 is cl somewhat close to 27,000, our estimate is reasonable. On our next one here, once again, we're estimating and solve, solving the problem. And so... We are going to estimate first. We are going to find uh, a good estimate. So once again, I'm going. Our second number here is forty-two thousand seven hundred, and our first number is two hundred and forty-five thousand six hundred and seventy. Because our second number is only forty-two thousand, and it's in the ten thousands place here, I'm going to go ahead and round to the nearest ten thousand. So I'm going to underline the digit in the ten thousands, and I'm going to look right next door. Uh, if it's four or less, we ignore. 
In this case, it's not 4 or less. It is 5. If it's 5 or more, we add one more. So we're going to add 1 to our 4. And so we're going to change our 4 to a 5 because 4 plus 1 is 5. We're going to bring over our 2. And then we're going to change everything to the right to zero. So we have a zero for the thousands place, a zero for the hundreds place, a zero for the tens place, and a zero for the ones place. It gives us 250,000. And then we're going to look at our second number and find our number. We look right next door. If it's four or less, we ignore. As we notice, we have a 2 here. It is 4 or less. We're going to ignore, and we're only going to put in our 4. Now, it's very important that when we are adding or subtracting uh, numbers that we make sure that we keep our same place values. Sometimes you can put a 0 in here to make sure you keep your same place value. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. I'm going to put in a 0 right here because I have no hundred thousands. But then I'm going to have my 4 in the 10 thousands. And then everything else will change to the zeros. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And sometimes that just helps when you're moving, specifically when we're moving numbers from over here over to here to add, that we make sure we have them in the correct positions, in the correct place values, and by just putting in a 0 as a placeholder. So now we're going to add, we have 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 5 and 4 is 9, and 2 plus 0 is 2. So we get uh, 290,000 as our estimate. So we have 290 thousand for our estimate and then we're gonna go ahead and come on over and we're going to add so zero plus zero is zero seven plus zero is seven six plus seven is thirteen three carrier our one five plus two is seven plus one is gonna give us eight four plus four is eight ah. I had 4 in my head for some reason. So 4 plus 4, one more time, is 8. And then we bring down our 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. And we see that we have 288,370. This number is close to our estimate of 290,000. In fact, it's really close to our estimate in the fact that if we were to round this to the nearest 10,000, we would have 290,000 as our estimate. So it works perfectly. And that is how we use estimation and how we solve addition problems.